Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloudsig. In today's session, we'll look at the public preview for the two new entry local administration settings within Microsoft Entry ID. To kick off, and if you want to follow on in today's video, you will need to be either a global administrator or a security admin. On the left hand service pane, where we see identity, we want to scroll down, expand devices, and then select all devices. This will take us to our device dashboard, where we can see either our entry join devices or entry registered devices acting as a bring your own device. Indicatively, it will also give us a policy tip based on any devices which are enrolled through the Windows Autopilot deployment service. However, in today's video, we're going to look at configuring the local administration settings across our device base. How we do this, where we see manage, we want select device settings. This will take us to the pane in which we can configure our entry join and registration settings. For this video, we're going to start from top to bottom and we're going to touch base with the public preview capabilities. The first option being users may join devices to Microsoft Entry ID. Of course, if a user has a corporate laptop, they want to be able to access corporate resources. So by default, this is set to all. But we also have the option to scope this to selected Microsoft 365 security groups or individual user accounts. Alternatively, we can set this to null. The second option is the ability for users to register their personally owned devices with Microsoft Entra to access your corporate resources. Once again, the scope is set to all, but we also have the option to set to null. The third option being require multi-factor authentication, i.e. two-factor, to register or join devices with Microsoft Entra. Of course, this is recommended by myself and Microsoft um, as we want to adopt the zero trust approach or the zero trust methodology, as well as being secure by default. And many regulatory frameworks will require this as well, such as Cyber Essentials. So we want to toggle that as yes. The next option is the amount of devices an individual user can either register or join to your Microsoft Entra directory. By default, it's set to 50. However, we have the option to set it to 5, 10, 100, unlimited, or we can custom customize this as well. Please be aware there is a similar setting within Microsoft Intune as well, in which we can we can customize or edit the amount of devices a user can enroll into Microsoft Intune. It differs to what we see in Microsoft Entra, where this is deciphering how many how many devices a user can either join or register. Okay, they're two different settings. This is where we then start looking at the local administration settings, uh, which are currently in public preview. One being the global administrator role, which is added as a local admin on the device during Microsoft Entry Join. With the first setting, we can now define if a global admin role be added to the, the administrator's group on the local device. If this role is added to the administrator's group, everyone who holds that role in your organization will become a local admin on the device. Luckily with this setting, we can now block that from happening during the Entry Join. The second setting is registering users um, as a local admin on the device during the entry join. With this second setting uh, that has arrived, we can now define who may become a local admin on the device during a regular entry join. Before we can only configure this setting, the user who is performing the device registration would always become a local admin on the device by default. The only way until now to prevent this from happening was using autopilot, which we're gonna run through in a second. And once more, we have the options to set yes or no, or scope this to selected security groups or turn it off. If I scroll down, there is also an option to select additional local admins on uh, given devices. Um, the next setting is to enable Microsoft Entra um, LAPS, so local admin um, password solution, uh, which I've created a video on in the past. So if you can refer to that in terms of how to configure that and how to set that up and what it is. Um, and the last setting is to restrict users from recovering the BitLocker keys on their own devices. And probably the question off the back of that is, how do you even recover a key um, using, your, using your corporate access work or school account, which I'll go through. So in terms of um, setting a user account as a standard user or an administrator on account, other than using the Entry ID settings here, we can also create a Windows Autopilot deployment profile. So if we were to access um, Microsoft Intrune through endpoint.microsoft.com or intrune.microsoft.com and select devices, there's an option for enrollment, where if we scroll down under where we see device onboarding and where we see the Autopilot deployment service, 
uh, we want to create a deployment profile. And of course, this is applied to devices upon um, the Outbox experience. So if I select Create Profile, Windows PC, give it a name. Um, I'll just give it um, Test um, Autopilot Profile. Um, it doesn't really matter. We're not actually configuring the Autopilot Profile. You can see here where we've got User Account Type, we've got Standard and Administrator. And once more, the question may be, what if I've set the, um, you know, what takes precedence, either the entry ID settings or the autopilot deployment profile? Well, because the autopilot profile is uh, applied before the, 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 the join process actually occurs within Microsoft Entry ID, the Windows autopilot profile always takes precedence. So if you were to select one toggle here, then one toggle and enter, and it's a conflict of interest in terms of settings, Windows autopilot profile will always win. Okay. So the recommendation is to use Windows Autopilot if you're enrolling devices. Also, it's seamless and out of the box and can be shipped directly to the end user itself. The, the second um, highlight and the second demonstration I wanted to go through is how do we recover or source our BitLocker recovery keys from our Access Work or School account? Well, if you were to go to aka.ms forward slash AAD recovery keys, and select manage devices. If I had a device here, which unfortunately I don't, and I've only just figured out on this uh, on, the, on this uh, recording, um, there is an option to press get recovery key, okay? And you can source that. But of course, if you want to restrict that, you can go back to, to the Enter ID local administration settings and press yes, and that recovery key will be restricted um, fr from use in terms of the local user. However, as an administrator, you can go into the device settings and uh, see the recovery key and provide that to the end user upon request. That's not a problem. But hopefully that was of value. Um, any questions you may have, please let me know. Thank you very much.